condition-based workload automation. We, the Workload Scheduler team, have customer satisfaction as our first priority. We continuously release the simplest and smartest solutions to meet your needs. While remaining flexible and adaptable to your growing business. For example, do you remember Rob? The application developer for a food and drink e-commerce company. We recently showed how Rob improved the efficiency of batch processing of online orders. By using the workload scheduler feature that implements iterative processing of a sequence of jobs within a job stream. Rob was able to iterate the processing of each item in the order for each order in the database by scheduling just a single job stream. As the business grows, the company no longer wants scheduling constraints in the order management process and asks Rob to change his application and process the orders as soon as they are created in the database. Another challenging task. But Rob knows he can count on workload scheduler once again to find the simplest and smartest solution. The condition-based workload automation feature is now available. With the condition-based workload automation feature, Rob can easily switch from a schedule-based to a condition-based job stream triggering mechanism. The job stream will start every time a condition, predefined inside the job stream itself, is met. In this case, every time an order is inserted in the database. From the workload designer, with just a few easy steps, by opening the job stream definition that maps the order processing workflow. Rob can define the new start condition for the job stream. In the list of the available start conditions, Rob selects job condition met. This means that the job stream will start when a specific job completes with a specified output condition. Now, Rob needs to specify the job whose output condition has to be met. Let's call it the monitoring job. He selects query DB orders, the job that queries the orders in the database and specifies the workstation where the monitoring job is scheduled to run. Then, Rob defines the value of the job output condition that, when met, releases the job stream. That is, when the number of rows to be processed in the database is higher than zero. The job stream is ready, and Rob just needs to submit it. The orchestration of the entire workflow can start. The monitoring job starts, checking the orders in the database repeatedly. As soon as an order is found, the monitoring job releases the job stream, and then completes. A new instance of the job stream is automatically resubmitted, containing the start condition, and the mechanism iterates. The job stream instances run in parallel, processing each order found in the database and iterating for each item in the order. By combining two powerful features, the automation of iterative workflows and the condition-based workflow triggering, Rob can finally increase control over the entire workflow and process the orders in real time to meet his company's needs.